welcome to home school this is your class 10 mathematics ncrt or cbsc board we are in a chapter 1 arithmetic progression application problems and this is your problem number 7 an arithmetic progression consists of 37 terms stop reading there how many terms you have 37 terms let me start writing a1 a2 a3 so all up to how many terms you have? A 37. There are 37 terms in an AP. I am not writing comma or plus sign. Just let us understand the concept first. There are 37 terms in the AP. The sum of the first three terms. What are the first three terms? A1 plus A2 plus A3. Sum of first three terms is how much? Sum is 12. Okay. A next point and the sum of its last three terms. What are the last three terms? A37, A36, A35. Sum of these three terms is how much? 318. Then find the first and last terms of the given progression. Yes. Is this clear? Understand the problem. First three terms sum is 12. And last three terms sum is 318. Find these terms is your question. So let's write the given data. Given arithmetic, arithmetic progression consists of 37 terms okay next step sum of sum of first three terms sum of first three terms is equal to 12 what are the first three terms a1 plus a2 plus a3 is equal to 12 Write this in general form. A1 can be written as A and A2 can be written as A plus D. A3 can be written as A plus 2D is equal to 12. Add all the A's. 3A plus D plus 2D will be 3D is equal to 12. Take out 3 common. A plus D is equal to 12. And here a plus d is equal to this multiple transpose at this side 12 by 3, 3 fours are 12. a plus d is equal to 4. Mark it first equation. Okay, next step sum of sum of last sum of last three terms is 318. What are the last three terms? That is A35 plus A36 plus A37 is equal to 318. Again, write these in general form. A35 can be written as A plus 34D. A36 can be written as A plus 35D. A37 can be written as A plus 36D is equal to 318. Children, do you know this general form? How we are writing by general term formula? An is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. Suppose if we say 35, you need to subtract 1 from it. 35 minus 1 will be 34. A plus N minus 1 is 34D. A36 can be written as A plus 35D and A37 can be written as A plus 36D. Add now A plus A plus A will be 3A plus 34D plus 35D plus 36D. It will be 15105D is equal to 318. Is there anything common? Yes, 3 I can take out common. A plus 35D is equal to 318. A plus 35D is equal to, you can cancel this. 3 ones are 
16 sir yes is it 16 just think over is it 16 no it is 106 most of the people will write here 16 3 6 18 3 1 are 3 that is not 16 don't try to write it as 16 you need to write it as 106 here you may have a chance of doing mistake equation 1 equation 2 now solve solve equation 1 and 2 a plus d is equal to 4 and a plus 35 d is equal to 106 so look here how can we solve these two equations we can subtract these two okay change the sign a minus a will be cancelled d minus 35 d will be minus 34 d 4 minus 106 minus 102 minus minus will be cancelled d is equal to 102 by 34 so that will be 34 3 so let's see 3 4 so 12 3 3 so 9 10 yes 34 3 so 102 d is equal to 3 this d is nothing but common difference this d value substitute in any one of the equation right here on substituting substituting d is equal to 3 in equation 1 a plus d is equal to 4 d value is 3 is equal to 4 a is equal to 4 minus 3 a is equal to 1 okay we got a we got d now find the six terms you need to find these terms right continue the problem here first term a1 is equal to a is equal to 1 and a2 general form is a plus d a value is 1 and d value is 3 that is 4 next one a3 that will be a plus 2d a3 general form is a plus 2d substitute a and d 2 into 3 1 plus 2 3 is a 6 it will be 7 and next three terms are a35 general form is a plus 34d a value is 1 d value is 3 multiply 34 3 is 102 plus 1 will be 103 and next term is a36 general form a plus 35d a value is 1 d value is 3 35 3 is 105 okay 35 3 is 105 105 plus 1 will be 106 and last one is a37 a37 general form is a plus 36 d that is equal to a a value is 1 36 into 3 36 3 is 108 plus 1 it will be 109 therefore a37 a36 a35 so observe here what did they give they have given sum of first three terms is 12 let us check it out 1 plus 4 5 5 plus 7 will be 12 yes what we got is right answer similarly 103 106 109 if you add 9 plus 6 will be 15 15 plus 3 will be 18 1 8 and this is 3 1 8 yes therefore your final answer therefore the first the first three terms are 1 4 and 7 and next therefore the last three terms therefore the last three terms are 103 106 and 
109. Okay. This is very simple problem. But most of the children where they will be confused, you know, some of the three terms. Some means they immediately go for S3. Okay, first three terms is S3. Then what about the last three terms? Some they will be confused. Okay, so properly read the question and understand the question. And you can see all the chances how I can do this problem. Try the problem once or twice it may be wrong and third time it may be correct. Okay, don't be panic. These all problems are very easy. Okay, let's have a recap once again. Given there are 37 terms, first three terms sum is 12 and last three terms sum is 318. First three means A1, A2, A3. Last three terms means A35, A36, A37. So similarly, similarly write the steps. First three terms sum is equal to 12. Add write in general form. You are going to get one equation. And last three terms sum equal to 318. Write the general form. Add. You are going to get another equation. Solve these two equations. You are going to get common difference and first term. If you know first term and common difference, you can find any term. Right? Substitute in all the terms. And finally, therefore, the first three terms are 1, 4 and 7. And the last three terms are 103, 106 and 109. Okay, with this we are going to end our session. In our next session we are going to come with another new question. Until that keep watching. Thank you all.